Hey guys, I'm LB, and uh, let's check out Sunken Temple, Temple Town by Nar or GLaDOS Knight. Uh, they, uh, they said their name was Nar, but their name's currently GLaDOS Knight, so I'm not sure about that. Supposedly this is a 6 out of 10 difficulty, we'll be the judge of that, but the description says, Before you play, to point a laser cube upwards, simply jump on it and start walking backwards while crouched until it smoothly tips. The signages clearly mark every connection. All elements and most of the geometry serve a purpose. Quick save and click quick load with F6 and F7. Description. As in excavation site, exploration comes in handy, again, as you found out. That what you reached wasn't only the exit, but an entrance to another chamber with some huge structures. And you were not the only one there. Jolly cooperation? Hashtag Bmon, music from the Talus Principle because it fits so well. Music, Welcome to Heaven, Temple of My Father, Sanctuary, The Dance of Eternity, To Seek Salvation, by Damjan Mravonada. Whatever. Please leave feedback in the comment section. Alright, though, okay, so the Talus Principle music might pose a slight issue for me. Sometimes it matches content ID, sometimes it doesn't, and it always matches to something completely random that isn't even the right song. So, if that happens, I can just dispute it, but hopefully that doesn't pose any issues. Otherwise, I might have to mute certain parts of this video. Looks like this is a Maiden B mod, I think. Is that a thing that happens in B mod? Huh. We've got a camera here that we can pop off the wall. Let's just do that. Oh, hi, is my. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's two versions of the music on the soundtrack. Uh, there's a version with the Elohim dialogue in it, and there's a version without. Also, holy crap, why. This- this area is so huge that it's lagging my game. Do not make large maps like this, because it tanks the frame rate. Uh, the engine that Portal 2 was made in is not designed to handle large rooms like this. It's a really bad idea to make large rooms. Just- just letting you know. What do we have here? Oh, that just re- yeah, that just- that just respawns the thing I already picked up. Duh. Wow, this is... Man, this frame rate, this is just. <laughs> this is so distracting. What does this do? I hear a fizzler somewhere. Oh, it's this, it's this guy. Okay. We have a funnel up here. I see you have a keen eye for decoration, but, uh,. I have a keen eye for puzzles, not a keen eye for decoration. Oh crap, that's uh, let's not do that please. Where to go, where to go? Anything around here? It says the exit's back there. Huh. I don't see any other portal surfaces I can use. Is that one? Oh my gosh, that is one! That is way up there! Holy crap, I gotta be looking way up high to see stuff as well. That's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I'm not personally a fan of large maps, I think Deathwish also doesn't like large maps, but, uh... Main issue is that there's just so much everywhere. There's a lot of walking around or travel time, and... There's also been a lot of different elements everywhere. It can be quite... A nightmare sometimes. What does that say? Is that where I need to put something for the light bridge? That's step one, apparently. Oh, there's a button there! How did I not see that? How do I get over there, though? Surely you don't want me to just jump to it, right? Yeah, that- that doesn't make sense. How am I supposed to get over there? That's not portalable. And that portal surface way up there has grating on it, so I'm pretty sure... I can't do anything there. Huh. Well... In that case, I feel a little bit stuck. Oh, I didn't realize I could even see through there. There's a whole other room there. Nothing I can portal onto, though. Uh... Okay, then. What exactly am I meant to be doing here? Uh, 
I don't need this fizzler to be on for any particular reason, right? So I'll just leave that there for now. Yep, that's definitely some grating. There's nowhere else I can put this cube, right? Because I don't have a laser cube right now. And I don't have a way to portal the laser anywhere. Like, that's clearly for a laser to come out and hit that. What am I supposed to do? I don't see... Like, unless it's really far away and really tiny, I don't see anything. That's just a weird light. That's... step two, I guess. Yeah, it definitely says step one is this, down here, which is the light bridge button. But I have no idea how to get over there. There's not, like, a portal surface over here I'm missing, right? No. No, there is not. Wait, what is that? Oh, there's a portal I'm missing. Portal surface, I mean. But it still doesn't help, because it's also got grating on it. Huh. What am I meant to do here? I am... thoroughly confused, to be honest. Because I can't go up... Moon, is- do I have access to a- a place I can put this cube? Like... Where would Moon be? Does Moon reverse the funnel, maybe? Not that it would help particularly. I mean, I guess it could help. Oh, there's a whole row of, uh... Whole row of portal surfaces there, but they're all graded off. Yeah, there's no getting through there. Huh. I'm looking everywhere, and I'm seeing nothing in particular value, to be honest. Like, I feel like I'm supposed to funnel myself somewhere, but there's no portal services that would allow me to do such a thing. Is there something back here? No, there's nothing back here. There's no reason to check back here. Just decorative. What the heck am I doing? Oh, there's something up there! Oh! Okay, so... This is a little pet peeve of mine. In the base game, and in the, the base puzzle maker, you have... Each... each signage represents a one-to-one -one connection between objects. Not a one-to-many connection, a one-to-one -one connection. So because this only had one connection, I saw that, and I thought that was the only thing it was connected to, I didn't even think to consider checking for any additional connections. Like that, for instance. I didn't even know that that could be a thing that could happen. So let's see here. Let me just put this... Uh... There. I wonder, will this guy- if I get this guy here, will he walk into the laser for me? Let's find out. Oh, I don't want him to walk into it, I want him to walk... out of it. Yeah, okay, so let's do it this way. Let's do... oh, come on. There we go. So we can walk through here... while he's doing that. Yeah. And then... yeah, there we go, that's what we needed. Oh, come on! Well, let's load a quick save then. That's- that's one of the issues with Franken cubes is that they don't move in a reliable, predictable pattern. Okay, let's wait for it to do its thing. Again, I didn't wait long enough. Let's try this again. There we go. Alright. Oh, and it fell over anyway. Well, I'm saving here. Now what? Um... Uh... 
Uh... What do I do now? Also, why are those errors? That's... strange. Are there, like, two different variations of these... these things? Weird. I mean, I can push myself across to there, but that'll just kill me. And I'll get stuck on that side. My goal is to get over there, right? Can I do that from here? No, I can't make that jump. And there's no portal surfaces that I can see that would push me in this direction. Huh. Yeah, I can't jump that. Well... Let's see what happens when we go over here. Probably nothing good, would be my guess. So I'm over here now. We have a way to get back, quite easily. So at least there's that much going for us. But... I don't really see what I need to do. The thing is, there's so much noise with the design of this chamber... ...that I don't really understand what to look at. A good chamber design... ...will help you naturally focus on the puzzle elements, but here, it seems like to focus on everything BUT the puzzle elements, and so I can't really even tell where I need to be going, or what I'm even doing half the time, because there's just so much visual noise... visual overload of, you know, information overload with all the, the stuff that's everywhere, the design of everything. I mean, it's kinda cool looking, but it really does not lend itself well to puzzle solving. Maybe I can just grab this and go back? Well, I grabbed it. I'm assuming that goes to that, right? Yeah, okay. That's weird. Why is it- why is it slide away from me? Right, well, I've got a cube. Maybe we should do something with it. Who knows. So. Maybe... that? That might be what we want. Possibly. And let's take this with me, because why not? Oh, this is as high as it takes us? Okay, so then we'll want to go... there. Oh, and there's actually a spot for us to put a cube! Fancy that! Come on, let's speed this up. Yeah, this is the problem with large maps, is that there's a lot of wait time as you travel. A lot of travel time. Let's put that there. There's not actually any signage on this, though. Like, I know it says the first thing we need to do is this, but there's still no signage on it. So who knows what it goes to. Because normally this signage is used to tell you the order in which you need to do things. But I still need signage to actually know what this connects to. Oh yeah, the music's back. Alright, that's been done. Of course, I can't jump on this now. Right, back over here it is. I don't know what that... dot... is for... but two is there. Oh, that's for the exit, okay, I see. This allows us to easily... get across here. But, then what? Two. Um... What is all that about? What? Like, we need to use this at some point, right? I'm just not sure when... Let's go up again. And apparently we're gonna be needing to angle a laser cube at the ceiling at some point. I haven't seen any... 
such things. And yeah, looking up, all I see is that drop over there. I mean, we can look around on this roof area, I suppose. Supposedly the exit's in this direction? Maybe over there somewhere? I guess I haven't dropped down here to check anything out yet. Hey, there's nothing much up here. I can't really see what else to do with that, so maybe I do need to go back here after all. Let's save, and continue, I suppose. Lots of walking around. Uh... okay. Hmm. Interesting. Still lots of lag, when I look anywhere, really. Not very many portal surfaces. That's death. Okay, so there's nothing in this spot. Like, why are these areas even here, if there's nothing in them? I made the same complaint in the Talos Principle. There's lots of unused nooks and crannies in the Talos Principle that just serve to distract you from the actual puzzle. And I'm not a fan of them, personally. What does this do for us? Oh, look. Foot panel. Well, um... Is this supposed to be my way back? Because... It certainly doesn't seem like it. I guess I could go through the portal, though. Yeah, that'll work. But if I place my portal elsewhere, I might not be able to get back. <laughs> yeah, what happens if... What does happen if... Like, if I were to place my black portal up there... How would I get back... over there at all? I'd be screwed, basically. Maybe that's what the faceplate's for. I guess we haven't tested that yet, so let's go test that. Oh, this is... even better. Also, what are these? What- what turned these off? I don't even know. Wow. Okay, so there, I thought- I thought that area in there was connected somehow to this area, but apparently not. Interesting. Well, we're up here now. There's stuff up there. There's a de deactivated faith plate. There's step two, I guess? Wait, this is step one. Oh, this is where the other- Okay, yeah. Please do not use the dots- these dot things. Don't use those as signage for connecting things. Those should be used to tell the player what order to do things in, not for connecting signage. Alright, but what do I need to do up here? Yeah, because nothing turns this off. I don't see any signage for this, unless... Oh... I think I might see something. Wait, but how is it gonna work, though? I'll save here, and... Yep, that takes it off the button. Oh, now this is off, okay. Oh, and that's an issue, isn't it? So... Stop reversing the funnel, maybe? And then we need it to reverse again. Okay, I see how this works. I see how this works! We need this... set up. We also need to do the Frankencube thing again. Come on. That's kinda clever, I like that. Although... Frankencube puzzles... are physics puzzles, by their nature. And that's annoying, to some extent. Alright, so, let's put this guy down here. Uh, I'll give myself plenty of time. Ooh, come on, let me up, please. Come on. Careful now. Come on! What are you doing? Dude, what just happened? Oh, come on, you drifted off course, didn't you? 
Fine, I'll get you perfectly aligned as you need to be. And hurry, don't get stuck on any geometry this time. We'll just run straight into the funnel and head up as quickly as we can. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this is why I don't like Frank and Q puzzles. This is- this is just maddeningly annoying. Like, when Nox did his, he had to put rails on either side, but there's not even any rails here. Alright. Finally. Okay. So he's gonna eventually get out of the path of the laser. I think. Yeah. And... There we go. Oh, there's also a button up here. What is this button for? Moon! Wait, what? Why would I want that? What? I don't... understand the purpose of this. I really don't understand it. Alright, well... Let's, uh... Let's head over here, I guess. Oh, but I need a cube up here! Um... How am I supposed to get a cube up here? Huh. I didn't mean to fall off. But, whatever. Uh, maybe it does have to do with pressing that button, but that button doesn't give me very much time, does it? Although... Wait, but then why would I do the Frank and Cube thing? I guess maybe I didn't need to do what I did. Perhaps. Who knows? Um... Come on, what are you doing now? There you go. So my problem is, how do I get the fr how do I get either cube, really? Cause I need the funnel to be reversed to get me over there, which means I need the laser cube to be... like it is. What is that? Oh, that's just light. Okay, um... But I need the Franken cube, cause that's the only other cube I have access to so far. And that button only lasts a few seconds, so it's not too particularly useful. What would I do in the time that the funnel is off, though? That doesn't make much sense to me. I really don't understand what to do here. Huh. What am I meant to be doing? Other hints? Huh. Man, we haven't seen this area yet, or this area. Like, we're still stuck here and here. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is happening? That was weird. I'm not sure what caused that to happen. Suddenly my camera was just going on by itself. Strange.
you're kidding me. Right, well, we gotta set up the Franken Cube again. Because I overwrote my quick save. Ah, uh, let's see here. Let's hope this works again. And... There we go. That... should theoretically pull the Franken Cube into the funnel. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Then we can put this- Oh, don't fall down. No, that's not what I wanted. Here, let's just pretend that I did that without sucking myself in. My let's see. Let's pretend I did it, like, Go from... Forth. Here. Uh. Let's walk up on top of this grating and shoot down like this. There we go. That makes more sense. Yeah! We got our cube. Excellent. Clever. I do like that. So let's put that there for a moment. Save. And... continue. We need to head all the way over here. Let's speed this up, please. Good old funnel bug. Right, so... Wait, what? Let's turn that off now? So, I guess we don't need... Yeah, I guess we're just done with all that stuff. I think... I think I'm gonna want to... respawn the laser cube. There we go. Oh wait, the light bridge is just on now? Really? Why is the light bridge just on now? Okay then. Well, onward I onward we go, I suppose. That auto responds. Okay. Why is it so dark in here? Can't you add more light? Like, I know you're trying to make it look like it's a... abandoned area. Oh right, I think the light bridge was done by some other button. I think I was confused. What's through here? Mm, not much. And this just hits a wall. Well, in that case, I'm a little bit confused about what's going on here. Huh. How are we gonna hit that? Let's go back. And I don't know, move our portal somewhere else. Cause I don't think the funnel's too useful in that area. What happens? Oh, this is different. Well, I guess we're never getting back up there. Unless we respawn the Franken Cube. Do we even need to? Who knows? Can I Where would I even aim? That? Let's go see what that did. There's a lot of walking around in this map. It swaps these around. Interesting. That's still not portalable. Hmm. 
Yeah, what's the point of me doing this? Because I still need to bring a cube here. Specifically, a laser cube. How do I get a laser cube there, though? What is that? There's stairs up there. Did I miss something here? No, that's just where the dropper is. Well, then, I'm not entirely sure what to do here. I'm gonna save, and I'm gonna see what happens if I respawn the Franken Cube. It might be a bad idea, so that's why I quick saved. Like, I don't know what sorts of. Oh. We can't. Well. Guess we never use the Franken Cube ever again from this point forward. supposed to do about any of this? What the? Oh, it's the game bugging out with the sound. <laughs> I didn't know that applied to the Deadly Goo sound also. Because, uh, relative to that portal, through, through this one, that's where the sound would be. <laughs> Aw, oh, what a buggy game. This game, man, it's so buggy. But anyway, I'm still confused about what I need to do here. How about... I do that first, right? And then I do this. That doesn't seem particularly helpful, to be honest. And how am I meant to... Oh right, there's a portal surface up there that I haven't used yet. Well, let's maybe go see if we can figure that out. Completely forgot about it. So first of all, we want to place a portal underneath the funnel here. Come on, come on, there we go. And then... We place a portal... there. Excellent. We have another cube, ladies and gentlemen! Right, I think I'm starting to see now how things are meant to come together here. Now we have that cube. We need to re-aim this one through the portal again. Did it- is it hitting? It's hitting, excellent. So we've got that set up. And... come on. Lots of walking. Now we go through here and I guess aim this at something? Not entirely sure what to aim it at, though. Probably just that. But eventually we'll want to laser at this height through a portal, right? Won't we? At least that's my assumption. Right, so. I don't know whether they're gonna want a funnel or a laser, so let's try both. There. Now we have a funnel and a laser. Not sure which one we'll need, but we'll find out. Interesting. Let's save and I guess head upstairs. Wherever this leads. Lots of walking. What is this about? Just decorative, I guess. So much walking. Another laser cube, holy crap. And then what's back here? What does this do? 
Okay, I did something, apparently. Like, there was no reason to have that hidden away for no reason, that's- that's just... ...adding fake difficulty. Interesting, we can drop down through here... ...but not through here. Huh. What does this do? Oh! At the portal surface, I guess? Yeah, okay, m that must've been what it did. And also activated the faith plates. Why were the faith plates deactivated in the first place, though? Strange. Huh. Right, so... Is this reflection gel, or... I don't know. Can we see the funnel from here, first of all? Not particularly. What if I'm standing all the way over here? Yes, okay, so I can still get my funnel back if I need to. Oh. So is that... Is that... Really? So that's- I guess that's... Reflection Gel, then. Oh, I didn't even see that portal surface! That's probably... That's probably how we get the laser into the top half of the portal. But what would we use that for? Probably because we just need to keep the portal? Or something? I'm not entirely sure. Huh. Well... Let's see here. We have that... Uh... We want... I'm guessing we want to get a portal... I mean, a laser... Sorry. A laser up through here somehow. Probably on this side, right? How would we do that, though? I don't know. And like, even when we bounce it, it's gonna be kind of... awkward, won't it? Will it? Maybe. I've actually never tested. Alright, I'll just do that for now. And... Then I'll head downstairs, I suppose? Yeah, let's- let's head downstairs. We need to get this cube out of here, and... somewhere. Maybe even upstairs. How am I gonna hit... the laser cube here, though? I don't see anything that aligns with... this height level. Do that. I'm gonna put my green portal there, and then let us walk all the way up here. All the way. Not part of the way. There we go. And then if I do a black portal there. Yeah, it's kinda what I expected to happen. Okay, apparently we don't make it if we do it from the back of the face plate. What about the front? The front will- we make it. Okay. That doesn't even hit? What? You're kidding, right? Really? 
Oh, that makes it worse. If I place it... That's as high as it'll go. Okay, then. Um... What am I supposed to do, then? Like, I know I need to make a laser cube point up at some point, but I don't know where I need to do that. What's back behind this? Anything of interest? Just a trapping situation? Yeah, there's just a trapping situation back here. That's all that's behind here is a trapping situation. And nothing else. Well, we're trapped. I think I see some ways to do things. Sort of. We can either swap the cubes or we can do some other stuff. I guess we don't need to use that anymore, right? Um What exactly do I need to do though? I'm not sure. Let's let's start by just swapping the cubes, because that seems the easiest approach to do. back. There's that. Oh, now it's facing the wrong way? What? Oh, it shouldn't. Okay, I guess it's facing the wrong way now somehow? Did I move it or something? I must have moved this. There, that's it now. Alright, now swap these out. Come on. Do this. And... There we go. And then we can just respawn it upstairs when we want it. All the way upstairs. All the way. All the way. Not part of the way, all the way. There we go. Right. So. What do we need to do now? I honestly don't know. Because even now, I can't really get a laser... the way I want to. Like, we're not gonna point a laser up here and do anything with it. And what did this button do again? I don't even know what that button did. Okay, then. I mean, we have that now. Not too useful, to be honest. That's still not too useful. That's not too useful right now. Um... We need that for the exit. Who knows how we even get to the exit once we do that, though. Huh. 
My game is still lagging absolutely terribly. Huh. Don't need to mess with that, really. Cause I can just respawn it upstairs when I want. This doesn't really give me access to the ability to point the laser up in any meaningful way. There's no way... Cause that goes actually above this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's like right above it. And that's just decorative. Yeah, there's nothing there. Huh. What am I supposed to do then? Like, how do I get a laser... in such a way... Like, I feel like I need to get it from up here, but... there's no angles that'll work from here. How would you even begin to try this? Like, I need more than three laser cubes in order to make this work. Oh, wait. My temple awaits you, child. Go forth. Ooh, okay. I see what to do now. Just a moment, please. Let's, us uh, turn this... Actually, I think I should put the cube first, right? Yeah, that makes more sense. Maybe I didn't need to swap the cubes, but, uh, you never know. I did it just to be safe. That's why it just kinda slopes upward like this. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. That should work. Now we run all the way over here, and change this to that. There we go. That's why there's only gradient on one side. They want you to think about that. So now we can go through this portal. And yes, we have a laser here, but... It's not centered, which might be an issue. Well, apparently it's not an issue. How does that even work? No matter what angle you point it at, it always goes up straight vertically? Really? I mean, I... I kinda thought that might happen, but I wasn't really sure of the physics involved. Well, the exit is apparently activated now, but the question is, how do we get there? Hmm... I think we can make the jump there, right? Probably not. Um... And if we went there, that wouldn't really help us much. I'm not sure what to do here. I think there's, like, outside logic in this wall here? No? Must be the sound bug, then. It definitely sounds like there's a laser note thingy activated around here. Nope. Just a sound bug. Where... oh where... Oh where... do I need to go? Geronimo! No, that's- that's definitely never gonna make it. Yeah, that's... no. <laughs> First of all, where do I even go if I get up here? Like, suppose
supposedly the exit's back here somewhere. But I don't- I sure don't see it. Yeah, that- that means the exit is here somewhere, right? But I don't see an exit anywhere here. Do you? I'm not seeing an exit. Oh, That's very deviously hidden. Right, well, so the exit's open right now. At least I know it is actually there. Now, how do I actually get to it? Without losing my portal up here. There's not portals over there, right? There's that portal. Well, crap, I think I know what to do now. And that's a lot of walking around you have imposed on me, sir. Um... Okay. We need to go back here. Take this guy. And put him back... Ooh, I don't know. Let's say... Like this. Uh-huh. How am I gonna get access to him again, though? Hmm... Cause like, once I go up here... What do I do from here? I need to keep that there the whole time. Yeah, I need to keep my black portal where it is. The thing is, even if I were to respawn a cube, I'd still have to land there and position it. Oh no... I shouldn't have swapped the cubes! Um... Crap. I have to unswap the cubes now. How about let's just, uh... Let's just pretend I didn't swap them, right? I'm gonna reposition these cubes. Assuming- let's- let's pretend I didn't swap them, right? Who knew swapping the cubes would make it harder? Right, well... All the way over here... Oh, that scared me. I thought I dropped it in the deadly goo. Let's make sure that'll work. Close enough. And then... So I was here, right? Yeah. I, I was in this situation. So what I need to do... Is actually take this guy up here, and the one that I can respawn up here is the one that needs to go down. I think. Maybe. I'm not entirely convinced. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, 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 this one needs to go downstairs. No, I see. Yeah. I'm just confusing myself. This one needs to go in this position. Come on. Tilt the cube, please. Excellent. And then... we head through this portal. Right. So let's save now. We need to use this one... to reverse the funnel. That allows us to get all the way up here. Then we need to go along this exit path towards... there, basically. Yeah, drop down here, jump across the gaps that are in here for no reason. Oh my gosh. The camera was... Acting weird. Run all the way up here. Right, then... We walk all the way, all the way up here. Press the button. Grab this cube. Use this laser. 
And... Did it. Excellent. Then, when you go to back through the portal... Yes. We drop down... Oh no, maybe I wasn't supposed to- Oh, come on! I had control of that, but the lag spike killed me. I'm gonna blame that one on the lag. Right, so, let's try this again. Gotta do all that work again. There's that. Blah body blah. All the way up here. Let's just cut to the chase, shall we? There we go. This guy in position. Excellent. Can we see the portal we need from up here? Yes, we can. Excellent. Perfect. I think that worked. Now, let's not die this time. Alright, didn't die yet. And... Exit! Hooray, huzzah! I like the puzzle a lot. I think it's a really good puzzle, but the map... The map itself is extremely unnecessarily large... ...and distracting. It's a good puzzle inside of a bad map. That's what I'm trying to say. Good puzzle, bad map. Right. Let's get out of here. Oh, well, are we playing as Chell today? Oh, we are playing as Chell. Cool. Well, alright. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!